What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be going over a few of my baby must-haves, specifically from Dr. Brown's. I have been using this line since my first baby back in 2012, and now in 2020 I'm still using a lot of products from this line. So I wanna say thank you so much to Dr. Brown's for sponsoring this video. I am partnering with them, but with that said, Everything I'm talking about is something I organically use. I authentically speak to it because it is something that has been tried and true for me. I feel like there are so many fantastic channels out there and videos on baby must-haves and essentials. And you know, I think everyone's different. There are sometimes people that we resonate with that, you know, you look to for advice and things like that. And for me, now being a third time mom, I did have a huge break in between my second baby and now good five, six years. So things have definitely changed. There are some new things that are on the scene that I'm like, oh wow, I wish I had this then, or I'm so excited I found this. So I feel like I just wanted to kind of condense a few of my faves from Dr. Brown's because again, it can be really hard and daunting when you're a new mom and you're like, oh my gosh, do I need this? Do I need this? She told me this, he told me that, she told me this, and then you get everything, and then you're like, why did I spend all this money on that? And then I'm also going to be talking about something that is new. It is their double electric breast pump. It's been something that I got to review ahead of time. I've been using it for the past couple of months. Um, and again, listen, having a baby is really hard. So sometimes when you're looking at uh, you know, devices like a breast pump, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so hard and you can sometimes get intimidated about like putting it together, how to use it, and you put it off, and you put it off until you actually need to get to it, especially if you're a first time mom. But I'm gonna try and make this really simple because I'm going to show you what the pump looks like, what it comes with, how to use it, why I like it, um, all that good stuff, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with a few of my essentials from Dr. Brown's. If you wanna get straight to the breast pump, I'm gonna leave a marker for you so you guys can fast forward to that. All right, first up are the breast milk storage bags. Now, this is something, especially if you are going to be pumping, that I find super useful. It's a great way to help build that stash and the extra frozen milk that you're gonna have in the freezer. So it holds up to six ounces each bag. You just pour it in there and then label it. Like I like to date it, so that way I'm making sure I'm using the oldest milk first. Um, and then you can store it in the freezer. So I love these and I'm comparing it again to 2012 because that's when I have the point of reference from when I started using these. These are the bags that I've used since then and I still use now with Baby 3. Next up are these steam sterilizer bags. I absolutely love these to clean my bottles, different parts of the bottle itself, um, any pacifiers, any little things that you need to sterilize, but you wanna do it quickly. These bags are good up to 20 uses and you can mark it in the back. It's really easy. You just fill it up with two ounces of water and then you put it in the microwave. It tells you, um, depending on the wattage of your microwave, how long to put it in for. It works so well, especially if you're on the go right now. You know, we're in a pandemic. We're not going places too much, but even if maybe you're going to the grandparents' house or if you just want something quicker to use, this is a great way to sterilize all of your baby things. So this is something that I find super useful, especially this time because my baby, baby Kai, I'll show you a picture right here. He was born with literally as much hair as I have. I'm not kidding. And I find that there are some baby brushes that are not as soft. Like the bristles on here are really, really soft. Like the hospital will give you some, but I don't know. I just love this one so much. It's what I reach for all the time. Or when I'm combing his hair and I just find like, you know, scalp is so sensitive. It's so soft. I love this. It comes in a set right here. So it comes with the comb right here. Again, if you have um, a baby with as much hair as me, this will work, but especially if when they grow up a little bit more and you wanna part hair and do little different styles. I love this. Um, it's really nice and it's not sharp. You see there's little bulbs on the edge right here. So it makes it very easy to use. And then these nail scissors are great. It has a rounded tip so you can make sure you're not going to hurt the baby. Um, and then there's a little aspirator too, which I have around the house. I have like one in every corner of the house because it's just a good way to keep their nose nice and clean. Next up is something that I have been using more and more of. Uh, this is one that I have just extra, but it is the travel bowl and spoon. So Kai baby has started eating rice cereal. He just started literally like this week. And I like this so much because again, we're not traveling too much, but we are taking walks and we might just go outside and you know walk up to the park and then have him eat there. I love that this has the spoon already. I'll do is I'll keep the rice cereal one area where it's dry. 
side and then I'll keep my breast milk or some water here to help mix it and then I'll actually make it when I'm you know wherever I want to be and ready to feed him so I love something like this easy on the go but also you can use this at home too this next thing is something I recommend for almost every mom especially if you are going to be nursing and even if you're not nursing those first couple of days or weeks when you're actually leaking milk this can be very useful for you these are washable breast pads I love these because they're really eco-friendly because you're not just throwing away the disposable ones so these come in a pack of four and they just look like large discs they're really soft and cottony. You just put it on underneath your bra inside and then it will soak up any milk Like, because a lot of times you can just start lactating and leaking at any given moment. Honestly, it happens to me all the time and I'm like, oh my gosh. And you don't want to see through either your um, nursing bra and then your shirt or whatever it may be depending on how much milk you're letting out. So I love these and then once you're done for the day, you just throw them in the wash and reuse them. These are a great, great investment. Next up are these anti-colic bottles. I have been using these again for years. These are the only ones that I find to work with my kids as far as like being gassy and just not getting too much air when they're drinking. So I love the way that these work. These are the newborn ones um, and they have different levels. As your baby grows, you can get um, the nipple to be wider but again that's why i like the sterilizer bags because you see how many little parts there are and you'll find with all of your baby stuff there's so many little things and you just want to make sure that you're cleaning them thoroughly each time so i love these i just find these to be the most baby friendly especially if you are dealing with colic or gas or all that kind of good stuff which Oh, so fun you know keeping you up at night that is what i love those bottles are probably my go-to hands down number one and now we're going to get into the pump itself but before we do that the one thing i just wanted to mention was that when you're pumping something that can be very useful is a pumping bra and that's because it's going to allow you to be hands-free maybe you're getting ready maybe you're helping one of your other kids do something so it literally looks just like a tube top like this and then it has the eye and hook and then right here you'll see the hole and the hole is for your nipples. So you put this on and then you will put the pump through here and then that will make sure that everything is hands-free for you. So it makes the pumping process so much easier. It comes in black and beige. Um, I have one of each and I have a small medium. I just like it nice and fit so that way when I'm pumping, it, nothing's gonna be falling down or anything like that. And they wash really, really well too. In the past, I've gotten the pumping bras that have um velcro and in your mind you're like oh that's kind of cool because it's just easy access you don't have to do the eye hook but those become such a pain because they stick to everything so if you're wearing like a shirt on top or if by accident you leave it out and it gets stuck onto one of your cotton shirts or anything like that it just frays your clothing and it doesn't wash as well either because it warps other things that you throw in the wash with and i don't know about you but with me especially after becoming mom i'm just I need really easy care fabrics, things that I, I can just throw in the wash and repeatedly do so. So this has been a great find this time around. Now we are moving on to this right here. This is the Custom Flow Double Electric Breast Pump. Um, and I'm gonna show you what comes inside, how it works. This is what it looks like when it's fully set up. And I love this because it's almost like its own little caddy. You see this little attachment right here. It's this nice, silicone material that you put around and it basically allows you to store your bottles if you want in here i like sometimes keeping the caps for so when i'm done pumping i will just close the bottle up and then put it in the fridge but you can put your cell phone newspaper magazine whatever it is you want to put in here and i really like that because it makes it convenient for mom to use on the go or like wherever she is around the house and one other thing i love keeping in here is the pumping bra because those i have like several of and then it just sometimes you know i lose them so everything you need to pump store and feed comes in the box um you have the rechargeable battery it is customizable so to adapt to your needs so these right here you can get in different sizes a b or c depending on your breast size and the nipples and you know all that good stuff all of the parts that are coming in contact with the milk you can wash those but you don't have to just hand wash them you can actually put them on the top rack of the dishwasher 
So that's also convenient. Whenever you're doing the rest of the dishes, you can include that part in there. One thing I wanted to mention were that these are made with the Dr. Brown Soft Shape Shields. You'll notice if you've pumped in the past, these used to be really hard plastic, and so they'd stick onto your breast or your nipple, and it was just really hard. These are silicone based. They can form to your breast nicely, and they're soft on your nipples, because I'll tell you, pumping and pumping and pumping, it just wears on your body, so it's nice to have something like this. And putting together this entire system is very simple. Sometimes breast pumps can look really intimidating, especially if you are a first time mom, but this is, again, very simple. From the minute I took it out of the box to having it ready to go, um, ready to charge, it took me less than five minutes. So the pump begins in letdown mode, and the letdown mode is going to offer like quick pulsating pumps, so it's going to encourage the milk flow. And then you can increase or decrease vacuum settings, um, so your pumping experience is completely customized to whatever uh, you want, so however fast or slow you wanna go, it's up to you. And then once your milk is starting to come in, you can feel it, so once that letdown has happened, you can move it to expression mode, and then it's just basically like cruise control. And then the best part is, is that it has memory settings, so it's going to save the same settings you had from your previous pumping experience. And then you can pause and restart anytime because if you're like me, I have two other kids that are constantly like, mom, 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 where are you? So sometimes I'll have to stop in the middle and go tend to them. And then it also comes with two of the anti-colic bottles, which are my favorite, but they're great because you can pump directly into them. And then again, you take the travel storage tops and you just put that on there and you can put that in the fridge and you're good to go. I think the biggest thing that I do love about this pump is that it sucks really well. Uh, that's a huge thing that I look for because I wanna make sure that when I'm sitting down to pump, I'm getting everything out that I can. So it's really efficient. So even if it's 15 minutes that I have, it's 15 minutes and I'm getting out as much as I can. I just find that this gets the most out in the least amount of time which I'm here for. Okay, so I'm currently pumping right now and I just wanted to let you guys hear what it sounds like. So I have it on cycle 49 and a vacuum level of four. Um, so it's not super loud at all. I think it's really convenient. So, um, you know, we're talking right now and it's not bothering me. In the past, some of my pumps were so loud. It'd be like, Ooh. So this is a nice um, change to that. I just wanna go over a few questions that I found really helpful when I started um, pumping. So a couple of things for me when you are trying to pump, I know it can be really difficult, especially if you're finding some challenges with it. So being hydrated, like staying really hydrated, almost always keep a bottle of water with you. And I also find like creating a routine. So if you're pumping, morning and evening and maybe in the middle of the day whatever works for you just try and stick with that because i think that your body reacts to that and it kind of conforms to it so it once you find a routine your milk starts to kind of follow along if that makes sense and then one thing that has helped me a lot is massaging the breast a little bit i find that massaging the breast beforehand helps stimulate the milk flow too and it just helps everything move along a lot faster. I just want to go over a few differences between um, things that I just didn't understand. Like what's the difference between letdown mode and expression mode? The so letdown mode is what's going to help stimulate the milk. Um, so it's basically as you're starting to get that milk going, that's what letdown mode is. And then expression mode is once the milk starts um, being expressed, that's collection mode basically. What is the difference between cycle and vacuum? So cycle, this one I had to actually look again, vacuum levels represent the amount of suction and cycle levels represent the speed of the on-off suction cycle. I'm not necessarily keeping track of that, but I know that whatever works for me when I find it in each woman, each mom is so different that whatever works for me, I just save that. That's why those saving settings are so huge. I save it and then I know that that's what I'm gonna work off for my future pumps. Okay, so the other thing that you wanna make sure is that everything is on properly. So make sure that your nipple is on the shield in the middle, like make sure it's not on the wall of it. So you basically wanna see the nipple through the shield and it should be squirting out the milk directly into the bottles. Another thing I wanted to mention, after 30 minutes it will automatically stop and uh, then you'll have to restart it. So just to let you know, it's not like it's stopping on you, it's just the auto stop time. So I would say most pumping sessions are around 15 to 20 minutes, but some people might go longer, but uh, mine are around 15 minutes. So 
Hopefully that's helpful. If you guys have any questions for me regarding how to use this pump, any features, anything you have, or any of the must-haves that I talked about previously, let me know in the comments below or also DM me. You can find me at my Instagram handle, which I'm listing right here, at Amidasai, um, but I'm constantly on stories talking about newborn and baby stuff and all that kind of good stuff. So again, I wanna say thank you so much, Dr. Browns, for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.